So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, glad to see you here. Now a big question in everybody's mind, mine in fact a lot of times too is, when is it absolutely time for you to upgrade? Now I know we all love to upgrade. I wish I had a better freaking truck, better guitar, better clothes. Hell, the truth of the matter is we all want better. But if you have a PC, when is it truly time where it's like, damn it, man, I don't have any choice anymore. You need to upgrade. Well, the first thing you need to look at, number one, is does your PC at this moment do what you want it to do? I mean, is your PC at this moment doing all the stuff you want to do? Can it play the games you want? Can it do the processing you want? Because if your computer right now, even though you want to upgrade, it still does everything that you want to, that's really not a time to upgrade. One of the easiest things you can always upgrade in your computer though is memory. Memory is a great upgrade all the time. The more memory you have, the better your system will do. So if you're gonna do a, an upgrade at any time, pretty much I would say memory is the number one upgrade. But beyond that, when do you really need to upgrade that motherboard, that CPU, and that video card, or even your monitor or other stuff? Well, let's start off with your monitor. Does the current monitor that you have, does it do everything that you want to do? When I say that, does it actually do the resolution that you want it to do? So do you have a monitor that's only like a 1080p monitor, but you have a 4K card or even lower, you have 1080p you know, video card, but you have a monitor that only does like you know 760 or something. At that point, when your video card supersedes the power of your monitor, that's the time to upgrade your monitor. Or if you're like me and you're getting older, sometimes having a fast refresh rate eliminates all those headaches. Now, if you're playing your game and stuff at 60 hertz and you look up and you're like, damn man, I have a fracking fucking headache. Well, that's because of using that low refresh rate. So at that point, you either have to make a choice. Do I want to be sick when I'm playing my games or do I want to upgrade? So as far as the monitor goes, it's time to upgrade your monitor when your video card extends the power of your monitor or it's actually receiving, you know. If it can't no longer take, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. If your monitor is not good enough to work with your card, it's definitely time to get a new monitor or if you get headaches, that's monitor. So let's jump there. Now, your CPU, the big thing with a CPU and all the people out there doing it is bottlenecking with your video card. So what you have to do is you have to maybe find a friend or somebody or go look at videos online and see, wow, man, you know, I've got this old 85 CPU and uh, it's really not cutting anymore. I noticed that when my friend's using this, when I look online, you know, my video card is doing so much better on this other CPU. Well, at that point, you have to make a decision. Okay, well, is this chipset, this motherboard and stuff, is it actually working for me anymore? Because if it's actually slagging down your video card, well, then obviously it's time to upgrade your motherboard and chipset so that everything's working together. You want to really try to get yourself a PCI 3.0 motherboard if you can because then it doesn't matter if you use 8x8 or 16x16 you know people out there are going to say oh my god Eric that's wrong but it's really not there's only a 3% difference between the two and that's not jack shit so it's nothing to whine about but if you're going to upgrade your motherboard frick it go all the way to the end you know what I mean get yourself PCI 3.0 so that's when it's time to upgrade your CPU. When your CPU is being bottlenecked by your video recorder, or there's another thing too, if your CPU is just so old, you feel that it's not processing stuff, it's sluggish, your system is damaged, you know, eh, time to upgrade that stuff and get yourself a new motherboard, new chipset, and all that other stuff. Now, as far as the video card goes, well, your video card, like I said, is pretty much gonna be in with what your monitor can do, and also we're gonna have to take into consideration what your CPU can do. Now, if you have a decent CPU and you have a video card, and that video card isn't playing the frames per second that you like on screen at all. Let's just say that there's a certain game or certain things you want to do, you know, regardless of what it is, whether it's, you know, working with rendering, whether it's, you know, just doing general purpose stuff. If your CPU is lagging, then obviously it's time to change it as well. So that's that. As far as your power supply goes in your system, they have a thing out there on the internet where it's called like a power meter where you can check out like all the different power things. Now, if you notice that your system is taking more watts you know, from your power supply or like really, really close. Like if you, you know, 700 watt power supply and using 800, you know, and 96, you know, watts of your power, obviously it's gonna be time for you guys to go ahead and change your power supply out. We'll have a link down below where you guys can check out that power meter. So if you guys wanna check your own system out and see that, that's the time to do that. Now, as far as upgrading your overall whole system and just ditching your system off the thing, when it's time to do that is when you finally have your computer and you're noticing that really all the things that you want to do are just lagging, sticking, slowing. I had this problem, honest me, on my Apple iMac. I wanted to play games. I thought, okay, cool, you know, my Apple iMac, so I've had this thing for years. I tried to play a game, and I'm talking about a low end game, and that shit was like. 
So obviously, you know, that's not a good gaming experience, you know? And I think that most of my viewers out there are PC Master Race guys who play a lot of games and they want the best for their gaming. So your whole experience is going to be around that gaming experience. And really the general rule of thumb is if you're unhappy at all with any of the performance that you see on your computer, and I, I don't mean like, you know, you're a guy who's getting, you know, 60 frames per second just because you want to, you know, be badass, you go out and buy another car. That's a different type of thing. I'm talking about the need to upgrade, not the want. Because like I said at the very beginning of the video, all of us want to upgrade. We all want better stuff that's natural. It's actually, part of the whole human genome is that, like we're always trying to do better, succeed things. Look, we may or may not have went to the moon even. I mean, so, you know, we're always trying to expand our horizons. But when it comes time to doing your upgrade, I mean, you have to just take a look at the situation, take a look at what you're doing. And also, obviously, a big factor always is finance, cash. It really sucks when you've got your system and everything and something happens, you want to upgrade and you just can't afford it whatsoever. That really sucks. So you got to save money. But really, those are the general rules right there, folks. If you're looking to upgrade, which you should look for. So for your monitor, hey, if your monitor is cool with your video card, if you're happy with the refresh rate, your card is great, you're good to go on your monitor. As far as your CPU goes, if your CPU is not bottlenecking your GPU and it's running fine for you, then it's probably not time to change that system yet. Unless you just want to because you want something better you know like i said you want something better you want something faster and as far as your video card goes hey if your video card plays the games you're happy with the games you play why upgrade i mean just because your buddy down the street has a gtx 1080 ti doesn't mean you have to have one just to keep up there's no reason to keep up with the joneses when it comes to pc parts you can't drive it around the street you can't put your girl from the side of it and, and like put her on your arm and look badass it sits in your house and the only way you can do it is to become an internet crazy person and post pictures and go look at my Looking PC, it's better than yours. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Elric. Those are your tips. And when it's time for you to choose your upgrade, you guys might be wondering, what's this system back behind me? Well, that's right. Well, this system back behind me is the Ryzen system. That's right. And that'll be coming to you folks tomorrow. So stay tuned to TOT and we'll bring it to you. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching the channel. Hope you guys like this video. If so, there's a like button down below. You know what to do with it. We'll see you guys back on the channel tomorrow for Ryzen.